Special Investigators, welcome back to the channel, Reacher Season 2, Episode Number 7, and Guy better be okay. Honestly. They better have called that ambulance quick enough, and hopefully he gets on the scene fast enough, and Guy makes it and gets healthy and doesn't die. That's right. We have to have a fight after this. Yes. I mean... <laughs> we have to have a full-on WWE SmackDown. <laughs> he might not be in any condition getting shot a couple times to fight. I mean, that wouldn't be much of a fair fight. It's not a fair fight regardless against Reacher, but after know, getting shot a couple times... He seems kind of scrappy. Yeah, it... It felt weird, that little moment that they had where Reacher's like, hey, when this fight happens, I'll give you the first swing. I know. And then Guy's like, I don't I don't need any handouts or whatever he said. I don't need a handicap. Like, that kind of felt like it was setting up something Before bad to try, happen. Yeah, once he got shot, uh, yeah, it kind of was like, is this, was that conversation? I don't like that they teased the fight. I don't like that they've given us this really nice relationship just to have him die. Especially the way that he died. He could have waited another couple minutes behind the car where bullets weren't penetrating and waited for Neely and company to show up. He didn't have to, like, stand up in the wide open firing his gun. He wasn't sure when they were going to come. He needed to save her. <sighs> I know. He needed to cover her but so he actually he got, could get away. He actually got her into more trouble because one of the dudes was still, like, he flanked them and was going to kill her until friggin' Neely ran his ass over with Literally the car. Literally took him out. Like, that was Literally. insane. So, He's now mush yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully, paramedics get to him, take care of him, because, Guy, we need you to survive, because you've been an amazing addition to the show, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Reacher was that close. He was that close to getting Langston, and dude somehow had a helicopter ready to go. Does that tell Can us that, that there's a mole? Can I just be like, I need a helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> is that does that tell us that there's a mole? That someone knows what's going on and is relaying information? Well, he probably just called. It, that if shit I, was if there. If I'm ready not to... back in ten minutes, you uh, send a helicopter. Like it seems like something that he would have backup ready for, but it just felt like a situation. And again, they're teasing this whole idea of Swan being the mole, which I think we figured out that he's not dirty. I, I, I think we're good there now. We'll I see hope if that so. we'll see if that information holds and is true. But the idea that they've been teasing this idea that someone within Reacher's crew is bad. I mean, O'Donnell's been the obvious choice, just the way his behavior, just the way he acts. But I did say last episode. Maybe Dixon. I mean, Dixon's the only other one because it's definitely if it's Neely, I'm no. I'm getting up and walking out. Honestly, like there's no shot. We're flipping yeah. tables and we're leaving this bitch. That's just that that would be absolute insanity. Imagine if it's we her. have to flip a table after yeah, that would not be cool. At all. <laughs> so it's like she's the only other option, and it but feels you can't because. I mean, you know, I've down <laughs> if a I had a hair to twirl, I would. Firm rules are not so firm, even though they get firm when... Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it just, it has to, for me, when I went back and rewatched it through edit, yeah. it's like that helicopter showed up at like the perfect time. Someone had to, because the way Langston showed up with his crew, he didn't have the expectation that there was going to be any kind of ambush. So he wouldn't no, have been... No, like, who's she talking to? Right. He wouldn't have been ready for that. So that tells me someone ahead of time called like, hey, by the way... Be ready for this. That's kind of where my brain went. I don't. O'Donnell. Want that. I, I'm not sure about him. I feel like the situation and getting the reveal of the family situation kind of clears him. Okay, who but knows? Then thinking about the payoff that Gus was talking to, like, what if O'Donnell was like, "I have to take the payoff because we need it." And so you meet his family and now then yeah. like they give you, are they going to give us a twist? I don't know. I definitely think a twist's coming. There's two episodes left. I, they keep giving us these flashbacks too. And I think I said it within the first handful of episodes. It felt like something that was potentially mirroring the situation that they're dealing with now. And I'm wondering if that's part of the reason why they're showing us these flashbacks. Right. Not just building relationship with the special investigators, but giving us maybe a foreshadow to a situation that played out already with them, and it might be playing out some some kind of similar situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the case, but it felt like that early on, 
And I don't know, they, they the way they showed us that flashback and how their last case kind of went for shit because they had Between to protect the, Dixon, yeah. well, just the idea that they had to protect the relationship of somebody and the idea that these bombs are tied to these politicians. And I don't know, it feels kind of similar. I, I don't know what it is, but they're definitely showing us, I mean, season one flashbacks were there for a reason. They built a lot of story and character. This season, they're doing the same thing. We'll see what the whole cause and reason is behind them. But it definitely feels like something like a parallel storyline that they've dealt with before is kind of playing out again. We'll see. But I mean, guy needs to be okay. We need to get Langston. We need to figure out if this situation with Swan is true. Mm -hmm. Are you on board with the idea of him being clean after last episode? I'm hope. Being. I'm not 100% there yet. Yeah, we'll see. I think I think I'm there. That situation made a ton of sense. The idea that he's working at New Age, maybe found some shady shit going on, tried to like mess around with it and try to investigate it. Brought his guys in. They ended up getting hurt, and now we just got to figure out where Swan is. What's going on with him? Right. Is he locked up? Is he tied up? Is he being held? Is he actually signing these orders or, is he or is someone dead? else doing it? Yeah. I I don't think he's dead. I, I think he's being held up somewhere. But that's still one of those mysteries. And, I mean, AM doing his thing, killed a police officer in the last episode. Yeah. Dude, obviously very dangerous. But, yeah, you ready for this episode? Yes. Let's go. By the way, what a moment for Neely to, like, go hold in on, and yeah. hold his hand like that. All right, we need to get you two out of town to somewhere safe. Everyone I trust with my life or anyone else's is already involved in this thing. Even Finley up in Boston. What about Roscoe? Who's Roscoe? Oh, oh girl. <laughs> She's a friend back in Margrave. Jealousy. No, he's just assuming. A few months after I was discharged, I went to Buffalo, worked in house at this debt collection agency. Did you rent while you were there? Yeah, private residence apartment over a garage. Anyone there you trust? My landlord, Bob Lee, retired firefighter, old school Irishman. I like that he was a firefighter. They have a sense of duty and honor. I slipped on ice on the driveway once, knocked myself out cold. Drove me through a blizzard to Canmore Mercy. I was Damn. The time. I don't just trust him with my life. He may have actually saved it once. You think he'd do you a favor? I send him homemade soda bread on St. Patrick's Day, and he calls me every year on my birthday, so yeah, I think he'd do me a favor. Oh, that's really nice. It won't be forever. We just need to kill a few more people. Okay. Can we not tell a baby that? <laughs> Even Dixon is like, he doesn't, I, he doesn't have any that. filter at all, ever. What? Um, just can reach her. we have candy or do we need to talk about murder some more? <laughs> Clark Bar. <laughs> Don't you dare it's take that. Clark Bar. Don't you dare take that from a baby. Don't you dare. Have you had a Clark bar? I don't think no. I've had a Clark bar before. No, but you don't ever do that. Get your own Clark bar. Russo confronts him about being dirty and dies within hours. No. I'd say we have a lot to talk about. So he is dead? <sighs> That's a shit way to find out. Dude. Like, we couldn't even get, like, an emotion. That's fucked up. I'm. I just said the I'm wind not buying, right out of my sails. I'm not buying it yet. I'm still holding out hope. That's bullshit. A good man died in my arms last night. Whatever Ugh. you do to Marsh, make him feel it. I guess that moment with Neely counts as his death. Damn it, dude. Russo was awesome. I really liked him. Reacher's gonna fucking annihilate this dude. God, that pisses me off. Dude, look at this fucking guy. Stacks on stacks. Is that the going price of an honest cop's life these days? You can try, but that wouldn't be smart. I did not want Russo to die. That's why you couldn't do it yourself. So you made a call. Cowards like you never like to get your hands oh, dirty. It wasn't like that. I didn't think in a million years that they would kill him. What do you think you were gonna do? Who the hell wouldn't take this kind of money? Russo wouldn't. And anyone who knew him as long as you did would know that. So when you called Langston, you knew exactly what would happen. Go for it. If you really think you can grab it and fire before I do, or you can tell me what I want to know and use that phone to turn yourself in. Prison's not a great place for ex-cops, but it's better than the alternative. Oh my God, do it. Do it. Oh, you fucking... Oh, shit. Ow. 
We know the buyer will soon come into possession of 650 shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles, and that he's due to meet with Langston and the New Age engineer to get the Little Wing software chips installed in the hardware. I need to know when and where that meeting's taking place. What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody ever said anything like that to me. Oh. Langston hired me to keep tabs on Rude, so we'll just tell him what he got close. That's it. And I guess we're done here. No, no, wait, wait, <gasps> stop, stop. Grant would know. Who's Grant? The, the guy you ran over last night. He's dead. Oh, he's not. He's in intensive care in Mount Sinai. That asshole lives. Right. That guy gets fucking wiped out by a car. Oh. That's way too easy. He should... This fucking asshole should have been tortured. No one's gonna be looking for you in Buffalo, but if you guys feel like you need to stretch your legs even for a block or two, where are these? Driver's got five grand cash in pocket. That guarantees you a safe trip to Dixon's friend's place. Okay. You know, last season we had to stash a mom and daughter. That didn't go so well. Yeah. When my boys started in T-ball, I had to teach them how to break in a cap. I know everyone thinks it's cool to wear them straight for him, but I'm trying to bring back a classic look. You wanna help me out? How's that? It's good. How does she look pretty all the time? Literally all the time. Your mom, she's pretty brave. And the dangerous stuff, that's over. So you'll be all right. I promise. There you go. Oh, he's a good daddy. Typically, it's hard for women to say goodbye to me, so let's get you girls out of here. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I think he's fine. I don't think he's dirty at all. <laughs> I mean, if he is, he plays the role real well. Yeah. You're good with a kid. Would have been a good girl dad, too. Uh, kids, kids. Girl dads, let's go. You know we got this. You don't have to finish this out. What's that supposed to mean? It means you've got more at stake than the rest of us. If you want, you can walk away with your chin up. With my chin up? Yeah. Really gonna try and pull that line with me? Ah, oh, fuck it. It was worth a shot. Yeah, let's get back to work, buddy. <laughs> hoo -ah. Interesting she tried to send him home. And I know. volunteered to Everybody kill. Everybody's sus now. And volunteered to kill uh, Swan. I just heard from one of our sources on Operation Kite Runner. The big buy's happening tonight. Weren't we told in no uncertain terms that there were to be no wide scale arrests, no conspiracy charges, just except the fact that they were foo barring our entire operation and that was that? That's what we were told. I know that defying a direct order will permanently damage and possibly end career paths. We may not be discharged, but they'll sure as hell make us wish we were. Shit assignments in the worst corners of the globe. But if we do this, we'll be taking out an operation, pumping thousands of kilos of heroin into the country, and we'll be making sure the criminals hiding behind the name of the United States Army know they can't do so with impunity. I think that's an okay trade. And since I probably have 18 hours left as your CEO, I'll leave you to make your own decision. If any of you don't want to be involved, I understand. I couldn't respect you more, and every one of you are free to walk out of here right now with your chin held high. Oh, it's the same thing that she just said to O'Donnell. Come on, that's a good ass team right there. See, this feels so similar, like drugs versus rockets, obviously, yeah. Yeah. but a meetup, like people covering things up. Don't move! Hands out and up! On whose orders? Major Jack Reach of the 110th Military Police Special Investigations Unit. Kneel with your fingers interlocked behind your head while we conduct our search. You don't have a warrant. This is the military. We don't need a search warrant. Holy shit. They found something, right? If they didn't, then this is like a really big problem. Damn it! I'm feeling very sus right now. Somebody told them something. Oh. Okay. Got a patch on this one, too. They're oh, using the fucking tires. Yeah. Gotcha. Bitch. Sorry. It should be, it should be more so. Gotcha, bitch. My buyers might have something to say about that. Light them up. Bitch. Damn. 
Where are you going? <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, bitch! Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh my! <laughs> I love that. Where did he take, like, arms training? Was it also Terran Tactical? Shout out Terran Tactical. I'm John Wick. <laughs> oh, how's that leg? Aye. It won't matter, you don't need it anymore. Oh shit, turn around. Oh, got your back. I got your six. Thanks, kid. Oh, oh God. Oh, I fucking, <laughs> with the Achilles. God, that's one way to take somebody out. Shit. And then stabs them and shoots them in the face. Yeah. Oh! Oh! It was a fumble! It was a fumble! Oh! oh! That's one way to defend someone choking you. Just grab their <laughs> hand and tear it in half. I guess. Shoot. This feels like it's going to be real messy, though. For them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Look at him go. I mean, he's in the military. I bet he can run a long distance. Oh my god. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I still can't fully laugh because of my cough. Well, I think you broke that was funny. I broke the fence. The fall broke your leg. Oh. Shut up. Damn, dude, that was intense. That was awesome, though. <laughs> Add these printed out in case anyone wants one. You know, I kind of sort of keepsake thing. Sweet. Thanks, Franzi. Yeah, yeah, of course. Who knows when we're going to see each other again? Why would anyone want to see these clowns? Wasn't talking about them. Oh, that was an ra eyebrow raise a little bit. We sure did go crazy on those sons of bitches, didn't we? <laughs> Sad that most of this crew is dead. I know. And where is Swan? Everyone enjoying themselves. Your unit is disbanded. Each I think they got and every that. one of you will be disciplined. Maybe not officially. But rest assured, Uncle Sam will get his pound of flesh. Well, I just got my ass handed to me by the Colonel himself, and you've decided to throw a goddamn party. Damn right. Yeah. I told you how I wanted this case wrapped up. Yes, sir. Why'd you fuck me? If you're looking for an apology, there isn't one coming. <laughs> when you first got the 110th, all the brass said that you would eventually fuck it up. Glad I didn't disappoint. 110th! Special investigators units, you're all hereby relieved of your duty. Effective immediately. Why do I feel like that whole situation was totally worth that? For yeah, them? 100%. Like, not even But, like, how you can go on and be like... You fucked it up, like, even though you did a good thing. Right. One-tenth, dismissed. I mean, they did the right thing yeah. <laughs> in making that bust. Just created a lot of headaches for other people. Which is why maybe they're dealing with some shit now. How is this guy alive after getting friggin' trucked like that? Hi, Grant. <clears throat> oh! You yell or make noise, I'll tear your trachea out, and your last thought will be, holy shit, he really did it. <laughs> holy shit, he really did it. I don't know anything. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Let's make sure. <laughs> what? What the hell? Making sure your heart rate doesn't get crazy. <laughs> There's a balloon inflated in your bladder holding it in place. Oh. If I fill the balloon port with air, it'll burst the balloon and tear your urethra apart like a pinata. Ho! I've messed up a lot of guys a lot of ways, but I've never done that. <laughs> what? I'm kind of curious how you'll react. 
You're sick. You, ah, ah! The fat, why would you say? <laughs> okay. Lynx is mean the fire mom. Where? Lynx keeps things on a need to know basis. That's it, I swear. Fuck. <gasps> Is he really doing it? I swear to God. I told you all I know. Well, lucky for you, it looks suspicious when your insides blow up. Hospital checks, security cameras, sees us coming in here, causes all kinds of trouble. Oh, if you have an shit. embolism after a car accident, no one suspects a thing. A gift from Guy Tahoe, so. Damn. Oh, shit. Wow. I love the way he used, like, a gift from Gaetano Russo. Up ahead. Dr. Scrubs, but look at the stethoscope. Looks like he grabbed what he couldn't throw it on just like we did. Doc's coming for Grant. With the kind of mood that Reacher's in right now, you definitely don't want him to get his hands on you. That's for damn sure. <gasps> oh, sh ah! Bitch, don't fuck with her. Oh, oh, ah! oh shit. Oh. 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 Dude, he kind of took that like a champ, though. Oh, my God. Ah! It's a bone saw, isn't it? Oh, god damn. Oh, I assume that's what that is. Oh my god, please. Please. Okay, thank you. Jesus. Woo! Oh, oh sh Oh! Oh! What happened? Shit. I wanted to question him. Oh, he land. Oh, sh <laughs> I didn't think that was a thing, but... Maybe we can still get some answers. <laughs> He's gonna be getting tired of these phone calls. You're down another man, but I left his body in the morgue for convenience. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Since you've been in the habit of taking out my guys, I've come up with my own contingency plan, and I've got two of your guys. See, I still know people in the police department. Oh, no. What do you want? I got an R&D facility in Rockland County. You and your buddy surrender your weapons, stay under the watch of my men there, until this is over, and then I'll let you all go alive. You know, this has gone way too far. Soon my associates and I will have $65 million, and we won't have a reason to kill you. More bodies means more bullshit. So you, your cohort, come here, it doesn't make and this any is sense. over for all of us. My cohort's name is Neely. Why wouldn't he, even if you have the money? Dead. Your guy killed her in the hospital basement, then I slit his jugular with a bone saw. Then you come here now. But if you fuck around and call the cops, I'll kill the only two friends you have left. Cops are already here. I'm at the scene of a double homicide waiting to be questioned. I leave now, they start tailing me. I'll be there sometime tonight. That was smart of Reacher. He thought on the fly. Okay, but why wouldn't he kill them even if he gets the yeah, money? That exactly. doesn't make any sense. I'm about to tear the apple cart to pieces. You still prepared to give me everything I need? 100%. Your private security, former SEALs and Rangers? Two SEALs, one Ranger. I need him. Oh, well, that's what it's gonna take to make all of this go away, done. I know that you think I'm some feckless scumbag politician, but I was just trying to do right by our country. Yes, maybe I, maybe I went my beak a little. Yo. Now here's exactly what I need you to do. What the Shit. whole wet my beaks and uh, uh, that sounded gross. Langston said if anything suspicious goes down, he'll kill Dixon and O'Donnell. He actually didn't say Dixon and O'Donnell, he said two pals. Yeah, I mean, that's the assumption. You're on time. Though it's expected, it is still appreciated. Show me, please. Watch out for his handshakes. Yeah. He's very quick. It feels like the rock, you know? Oh, yeah. The new age engineer who has the little in chips. Take me to it. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, they do have them. 
He's a funny one. He's got his funny little remarks. Oh my God, come on, Reacher. His funny little toys. Now these things don't do any good if you don't keep them sharp. Let's see how well you maintain your tools. <gasps> oh God. I've been thinking about Operation Kite Runner lately. Strange, so have I. We went into that case knowing it was a losing proposition and we all got burned. Kind of getting that same vibe now. We put bad guys in the ground, we put bad guys in jail. I prefer the former, but it was far from a loss. It killed the one-tenth, figuratively. And now someone's actually killing the one-tenth, literally. You're about to walk into a buzzsaw, Reacher. This plan, we might die. Everyone dies eventually. Dang. All right, well, let's get morbid, huh? I prefer to not do it today, wouldn't you? People live and then they die. As long as we do both properly, there's nothing much to regret. Wow. She goes to shit. I just don't want to be the last living member of our outfit. We investigated, we prepared, now we execute. And I have my best soldier covering my ass, right? Damn right. Besides, if this all went to shit, you wouldn't be the last member of the one-tenth for long. They'd kill you within 24 hours. <laughs> you just wink. And smiled. The, uh, <laughs> Who are you? Asshole. Word. <laughs> right there. Yes, girl. Seriously, like this talk of all these folks dying, like Neely's another one of those characters that can't die. Mm -mm. This is fucked. For them. Well, like what if he just like kills them before he even like walks up over to them? Can we get a sniper? Oh shit. I hate it when they end the episode on a fucking cliffhanger. God. Yeah, one more episode for the finale. Shit. I mean, it feels like it's gonna be a big finale. Mm -hmm. It feels like a lot of shit's gonna go down. Hopefully we don't lose any more members of the special investigators. Where's Swan? I don't know, but I feel like we just got a huge swerve this episode with like initially thinking everybody's dirty and oh, everybody's sus and then everybody getting beat up. Yeah. So it's almost like, See, remember what happened over here? Don't look at that anymore. Look over here. Everybody's getting beat up. I still want to know what's going on with Swan, though. I know. Like, obviously, I mean, talking about, like, Dixon being the plant, I mean, you could still be that and be providing information. You'd still have to, like, beat her up to... Get stabbed in the arm? I mean, they might not... Like, not everyone needs to know... They're on a need to know basis and not everyone needs to well, know. Well, then O'Donnell but, could also be Well, that. yeah, but I, I think I'm agreeing with you on that. I don't think anyone from the special investigators anymore, like I've kind of put that aside. Mm -hmm. That's not a storyline I don't feel like anymore. I feel like we've gotten past all that. I just need to know where Swan's at. Like what's going on with it? We haven't seen him once. We don't know if he's dead. We don't know if he's locked up, if he's apprehended somewhere, if he's just being kept somewhere quiet. Who knows what's going on? And I mean, this whole this whole ending feels very similar to the way season one ended with just all hell breaking loose and yeah, just that's true. it's going to be like a giant warehouse crazy fight. Yeah. And again, hopefully Neely doesn't die. Dixon. I mean, I, I have less of a connection to Dixon and O'Donnell than I do with Neely. I feel right. like Neely's like Same. part of like yeah. the show because she was in season one. But O'Donnell helped a has lot there. children. Right. He's got a family and everything. But, I mean, how is this going to go? Like, yeah. it doesn't feel like it's going to be a good spot for them. And the way Langston's kind of in control right now, it just feels like a bad spot. And what is going to happen with AM with those rockets? It's one of those things where I just... Like, AM's now with all the rockets. He's going to get driven to the dude who's handling all the chips. So they can teach him stuff. And, I mean, these things are going to be ready to go. Not that long. So, so he's got to work quickly. Yes. Hurry up and torture I mean, me so I can, like, you know, get my stuff together and get you out of here. I mean, having Neely announced as dead and clearly he hasn't done his homework to, like, figure out if she actually is dead or not is right. going to be an advantage for him. I don't know what kind of weapon she has on her. I thought initially just because the sight, I thought, like, oh, shit, she's got a sniper. But she's just so. using it yeah. as a sight to look as, like, a binoculars, basically. 
but I don't know what kind of options she has in terms of infiltrating once he gets brought in. I hope they don't kill O'Donnell and Dixon on the spot, like you said. Yeah, I'm hoping Because it yeah. feels like a situation where he would do that kind of or, thing. Or, I mean, because they're strapped to the hospital beds or the gurneys like they, you know, like the other guys were. Right. So are they going to like... Take them up in the take helicopter. Them up, yeah, or plane or whatever. I mean... Reacher said he's going to take homeboy in a helicopter and throw him out the helicopter, so... that I can't wait to see it. It's definitely got to happen. It's going to happen. I'm so bummed that... I guess I just had my hopes up very high that Russo would get medical care and survive. But the fact that he passed away like that, and then we found... Like, obviously, he died at the end of last episode, but for them to, like... Oh, yeah, you know, for him to confirm the death kind of off-screen like that... Kind of was like, oh, it was just some dialogue to confirm that he's dead. That sucks. It's I, really like, unfortunate. I feel like we could have given Guy like a couple minutes at least. Yeah, I mean, he was a really like he wasn't in the show long, but his introduction and his impact was awesome. He's such a cool character, and I really thought the dude that betrayed him got out kind of easy. I thought Reacher should have like tortured him and taken care of him a little bit more violently. But, yeah, but, I mean, I do like the words that, you know, Reacher said about him, like, as he was talking to yeah, the guys. Yeah, totally. Like, if you knew him for any amount of time, you would have known he wouldn't take that stuff. So totally. that's why you got him killed. Exactly. So that whole situation just really sucks because, again, he was a great character and just loved the dynamic that him and Reacher had, the relationship that they were building. And it's unfortunate we're never going to find out who who's going to win their fight, but... Yeah. I mean, the flashback and the fact that Neely brought it up just there at the end. Yes. It's it's a parallel storyline. And the fact that she made the comment that the 110th was figuratively killed then, and now they're literally dying now. It, it's, it's a similar storyline with bigger ramifications now because members of his force are actually dying. Yeah. And... It's just, it feels, it felt similar. I said it like episodes ago. And the fact that it's just, you know, drugs, important people are tied to this. They need to keep their relationships going. And they're, I mean, they got certain reputations that they got to hold up. And it feels just like the corporal who is getting his promotion feels very similar to the politician who's connected to these rockets. So it feels very similar. And the fact that the 110th was figuratively dying and now they're literally dying. It's just... It's but that a really... politician was supposed to give him some help, so hopefully that's coming through at the end Yeah, there. hopefully they show up. There was three guys. I think it was two SEALs and, and a, a ranger, ranger mm -hmm. which, I mean, that's some firepower right there. That's a lot of training right there. So hopefully they come through and help, but yeah, it definitely feels like a finale that's going to be full of fireworks. Yep. So, I mean, where are you on Swan right now? I, what... don't, I don't even know if he's alive. Do you think he is? It's But, like, they keep talking about him, and it's like, can we get, like, a visual He'll at probably all? show up at the end. <laughs> I, I hope yeah. so. I think he's alive. I think he's been apprehended for his attempts to kind of, like, mess up the plan. I don't think he's been killed yet. We'll see. He could still be, like, pulling the string somehow, some way, somewhere. But I feel like Langston's got him kind of, like, locked up somewhere. Mm -hmm. But really cool season. A lot of action this episode. It feels like a lot of really crazy shit's going to go down in this finale. So anything else? All right, y'all. You guys share all your thoughts. See you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.